Welcome back to the Professor's Lab. I'm Professor V, and this is round three, the final round of the League Challenge that happened at Die Hard Games on December 21st, 2023. If you didn't know, Die Hard League happens every Thursday, today, at 6 p.m. Central, at Die Hard Games, featuring casual and tournament play of whatever format anyone wants, really. More info in the description. League Challenge, Thursday, January 11th, at 6 p.m. Central, at Die Hard Games. And check out Pokemon's Event Locator for premier events at Die Hard Games, such as League Challenges, League Cups, and pre-releases. Please hit that like button right quick, subscribe to this channel, ring the bell for notifications, say what you need to say in the comments, and all that other good free stuff. But anyways, let's get into this game, where we have Cloth on the left, Lost Cramorant on the right. Looks like Lost Cramorant is going first, top deck in that comfe, and immediately putting it onto the bench. Switch carding into that comfe, and using that flower selecting. That lets you look the top two cards of the deck, put one into the lost zone, keep the other one in your hand. For this lost cramorant deck, we want to get four into the lost zone, so that way cramorant's lost provisions ability is online. We'll get there as it comes up, as a defiance ban ooh, is sent to the lost zone. Maybe not as big of a deal in this matchup as it was in the previously seen Mew VMAX matchup. Energy Search being played here. That's an item card that lets you search your deck for, guess what? An energy. Basic energy, of course. And a fail off of that Energy Search. Okay maybe wanting to just get it out of the hand for this turn or uh, deciding that that energy is better in the deck I imagine the cloth players hand is as they say gas which is why they were showing it there we'll find out on their turn ooh the radiant Charizard with a fire energy immediately put into play escape rope being played to bring that radiant Charizard into the active spot and passing things over okay the cloth player benches that brute bonnet uh, since we're paused here we'll go ahead and go over the cloth decks um, strategy here cloth has the unhinged scissors attack for two colorless energy or a double turbo energy 30 plus if this Pokemon is affected by special conditions, this attack does 160 more damage. So it's basically a uh, single prizer that can swing for big damage with the single energy attachment. But how do we get those special conditions on the cloth? Well, this deck plays a couple of ways. One is with this Brute Bonnet that was just put onto the bench. Brute Bonnet has the ability Toxic Powder. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon has an Ancient Booster Energy Capsule attached, you may make both active Pokemon poisoned. So that's how we can get the Cloth Poison and also get some more damage ticks on the opposing Pokemon. Uh, but the, remember, the Brute Bonnet needs to have the Ancient Booster Energy Capsule attached to it. Well, how do we search that out? With the Stadium Town Store that was just put into play. Town Store lets you search your deck for a tool card, put it in your hand. Let's both players, of course, but... Um, definitely helps out this Cloth Hisuian Electrode deck, and yes, that's the other attacker in this Cloth deck is Hisuian Electrode V. It has the Tantrum Blast attack for free. It can use Tantrum Blast, and it does a hundred and hundred times. This attack does a hundred damage for each special condition affecting this Pokemon. So we can poison it with the Brute Bonnet. And we can also burn it with the spice, Spicy Season Curry item card that you might see come up in the deck. Um, that's the, the strategy of the uh, cloth deck in a nutshell, uh, very quickly. Um, but I'll go ahead and continue to describe things as it comes. So we see that Ancient Booster Energy capsule attached immediately to the Brute Bonnet. The Double Turbo Energy attached to the Active Cloth. Ooh. And then... The, immediately followed by the infamous battle VIP pass. You can only play that on your first turn when you do. Search your deck for two basic Pokemon and put them onto your bench. Backup Cloth and Hisuian Electrode V being uh, found off of the 
battle VIP pass here, all kinds of things happening here. So let's see if that town store is activated as well. So we're getting the cloth off of the VIP pass, as well as the Hisuian Electrode, yep. And then the town store was activated to search the deck for the Forest Seal Stone tool card. That gives the Pokemon V, it's attached to the V Star Power Ability Star Alchemy and it's activated. Star Alchemy lets you search your deck for a card and put it in your hand. Let's see what card is found off of that Forest Seal Stone. Of course, Second Battle VIP Pass. Getting fully set up here on turn one. That hand was worth showing earlier. Bidoof and a third cloth being found off of that Second Battle VIP Pass. And our uh, cloth player is what you guys may call set up. Oh my gosh, followed by a professor's research discarding the hand and drawing seven fresh new cards. Bravery Charm put on the active cloth, giving it plus 50 HP. And cloth uses unhinged scissors, so let's see here. Uh, there was a couple things. The Brute Bonnet, I'm sure, poisoned both of the active Pokemon. We need to start using those that poison counter, especially in the the recorded things. Um, so the cloth is poisoned, so its unhinged scissors is doing 190 minus 20 for the double turbo energy, 170. Radiant Charizard has 160 HP, so it gets knocked out by unhinged scissors. First prize of the game is taken by cloth, and play resumes on Lost Cramorant side. Starting things off with a course experiment. Supporter card, look at the top five cards of your deck. Send two of them to the Lost Zone. Keep the remaining three. So we're getting close to that four in the Lost Zone, and we actually have it, four in the Lost Zone, with the Come Phase Flower Selecting. But you always Chorus first, right? Let me know in the comments if you Flower Selecting first or Chorus first. Alright, our player is debating on which card to keep. Switch cart and something else are the finds there. Switch cart and escape rope being sent to the lost zone off of that course experiment. Nest ball being played to search the deck for a basic Pokemon and put it onto the bench. The main attacker, Cramorant, has finally hit the field. It, you know, it currently cannot take the KO on the opposing Cloth. Let's see. During Pokemon checkup, Cloth will have two damage counter on it, counters on it, and it currently has 170, so yeah, I'd be at 150. So we're gonna see, have to see lots of um, damage buffs. Uh, that Defiance Band that's in the Lost Zone would be helpful here. But let, let's see what our Lost Cramorant player can put together before I go down the rabbit hole here in the professor's lab today getting pumped up to go play some Pokemon cards later it's been a little while too since I missed last week flower selecting being activated looking at the top two cards sending that artisan to the lost zone keeping the other one and is town store being played here no it was a another nest ball I think was put very quickly into that discard pile to find a second Cramorant to add to the bench. Switch cart being played to bring Cramorant into the active spot. Wow. Defiance Man and Gift Energy put onto that Cramorant. So let's do some math. I'm feeling like doing it today. So we got 110 base with spit disrespectfully plus 30 for the defiance man the defiance man if you didn't know um, gives the attacker it's attached to plus 30 damage to its attacks if we're behind on prizes so our player is behind on prizes defiance man is online so we got 110 plus 30 140 150 with the Articuno and then the cloth, remember, is poisoned and has one damage counter on it. So 150, 160, and it also has the um, 
bravery charm attached as well. So it has 170 HP total. It's going to have two poison counters on it um, in between turns after this attack. And then we're dealing 150 to it, right? So perfect KO on the opposing cloth with the surprise defiance ban there. Cramorant answers the opposing cloth. The Hisuian Electrode V is put into the active spot. Play resumes on cloth side. Nest Ball is being played here. Our players search in their deck for a basic Pokemon to put onto the bench. I was going to say most likely finding another cloth, thinning it out of the deck and getting it ready to attack for future turns. Not necessary this turn, but you know, good to thin it out of the deck. Alright, and let's see if uh, this Cramorant can be KO'd. Okay, so our Suian Electrode became poisoned thanks to the Brute Bonnet, and both actually, the Cramorant and the Suian Electrode, are poisoned. And our Hisuian Electrode is going to use Tantrum Blast for 100. Yep, that is enough to get the K on the Cramorant. So the, the opposing Cramorant had a Defiance Man. Here, I'll just go back here. The opposing Cramorant had a Defiance Man and a Gift Energy attached to it. So yeah, it only had 110 HP. When it's poisoned, it takes 10 during Pokemon Checkup with 100 damage from the Tantrum Blast because the Hisuian Electrode V is poisoned is enough to take the KO on the opposing Cramorant. And I think our players look to see if Gift Energy activates and I believe it does not because the Pokemon was KO'd during Pokemon Checkup from poison damage not KO'd from attack damage. So that's an interesting interaction to keep in mind. I'm not going to look that one up but I'm pretty sure that's what, what happened here. Play resumes on Lost Cramorant side. Cramorant in the active spot. Town Store being activated here to search the deck for a tool card. Uh, the Defiance Man doesn't do anything here, so Bravery Charm being found just to give a Pokemon more HP. Also thinning that card out of the deck is good. So yeah, if that last Cramorant had it at Bravery Charm, it would have survived, but it wouldn't have taken the KO um, either, because it wouldn't have had the Defiance Man. So just moving things along here in this game. Counter Catcher being played here. That's an item card um, that's online if you are behind in prizes. And uh, when you play Counter Catcher, it's pretty much boss's orders. You could bring up a Pokemon from the bench into the active spot. And it looks like a Cloth... No, the Bidoof actually was brought into the active spot with the counter casher. It was spit disrespectfully on for 110 damage and KO'd. Cloth is put into the active spot and play resumes on that side. Very good taking out the Bidoof. But it looks like a replacement Bidoof will be instantly found with the Nest Ball here. But slow down the Bibberal for a turn if our uh, cloth player could have had access to it this turn. So that's that's pretty good. Ultra Ball being played or Super Rod? Not quite sure what's happening. First Super Rod being played to shuffle back into the deck from a disc from the discard pile, a cloth. Now Ultra Ball being played, discarding two cards to search the deck for a Pokemon. So we did have access to the Bibero here. A um, backup Brute Bonnet was being debated there, but maybe you grab the Bibero for next turn. His Hisuian Radiant Sneasler is also being debated here. But actually going to go with the Spiritomb. Spiritomb's Fettered in Misfortune, I believe is what it's called, ability says Pokemon V have no abilities. So why is that one hitting the discard pile? Ah, because of the professor's research being played. 
discard in the hand, draw seven fresh new cards. All right, we found the double turbo energy. That's good. Double turbo energy attached to the active cloth. And yep, enough to take the KO. So if you guys are wondering, again, I'm gonna make sure we try to use the counters uh, status condition markers uh, for the future, but the Brute Bonnet has the tool ancient booster energy capsule attached, so it can leave both active Pokemon poisoned, which was the Cramorant here, and uh, since Cloth was uh, affected by a special condition, its unhinged scissor scissors is doing 170 damage, Cramorant had 160 thanks to the Bravery Charm, so Cloth got the KO on the Cramorant. Comfy moved into the active spot and play resumes on Lost Cramorant's side. Cramorant hits the bench and Course Experiment is played to look at the top five cards of the deck. Keep three of them, Lost Zone, the Hisuian Heavy Ball, and the Comfe. Alright, our player is consulting their discard pile here. See what resources they may have available, or may not. Four prizes to three prizes here. Town Store, I believe, is being activated. To search the deck for a tool card. Seeing more and more Town Store being played. For the newly classified trainer cards, Tool. The TM Technical Machine Devolution being found here. Very good card in this Cramorant deck, it seems. The TM cards give the Pokemon they're attached to a uh, additional attack. The TM Devolution one says to devolve all opponents' Pokemon. Let's just go ahead and look that one up right quick here in the professor's lab. Technical machine devolution. It's a tool card, you attach it, and then if this card is attached to one of your Pokemon, discard it at the end of your turn. And it gives the Pokemon the devolution attack for one colorless energy. Devolve each of your opponent's evolved Pokemon by putting the highest stage evolution card on it into your opponent's hand. So it could definitely destroy a uh, damaged Charizard EX board, for instance. But I think they're more so getting it out of the deck, thinning it out of the deck in this case. Flower selecting being activated now to take a look at the top two. Keep one, send the other to the Lost Zone. Let's see what our player pools here. Sending an Articuno to the Lost Zone. I imagine there's like three of them played in this deck. Uh, and keeping the other card. Switch cart. Switching into that Cramorant there. It can attack for free, of course, with Spit Innocently, since there's four or more cards in the Lost Zone. Cloth has 110 damage on it, and it's poison, so we're, Cramorant's getting the KO here. Alright, Lost Vacuum being played. When you play Lost Vacuum, you send a card from your hand to the Lost Zone, and then you can send a Tool card or a Stadium card in play to the Lost Zone. The Ancient Booster Energy Capsule being the target being sent to the Lost Zone there. That TM needs to go to the Lost Zone. We'll see if our players catch it there. A second Lost Vacuum sending Arvin to the Lost Zone being played to send that Town Store to the Lost Zone. So there we go, we might not be able to poison with Brute Bonnet next turn. Looks like our player caught that those cards need to go into the Lost Zone. Uh, would not really make a difference in this case here, but we like to see nice clean play here at the shop for our League Challenge. And Cremorant spits disrespectfully on the cloth to take the KO chugging along in this mostly single prizer game. Ancient Booster Energy Capsule immediately 
replaced on that brute bonnet there, <laughs> as well as the down store. Ah, your opponent always has it, right? Ultra Ball being played here to discard a couple cards to search for that Bidoof there. Bidoof has the Industrious Incisor's ability that lets you, once per turn, draw up to five cards in hand. So that's how this cloth deck keeps things rolling. Followed by an Iono. Okay, both players shuffle their hand, put it at the bottom of their deck, and then draw cards equal to their remaining prize cards. Both players will get three cards here. On Bidoof's side, the three cards is not minded at all because we can keep drawing up to five. Uh, another Hisuian Electrode V is put on the bench and Industrious Incisors is activated, finding that double turbo energy that is attached to the uh, bench cloth there for, uh, for next turn. Uh, let's see, let's back up a second here. We see the Industrious Incisors. Okay, double turbo energy attached to the bench. Brute Bonnet then poisons both active Pokemon. And Hisuian Electrode can take the KO on the opposing Cramorant with its Tantrum Blast attack. Comfey moves into the active spot and play resumes on the Lost Zone side. Here in this near end game. Final round of the league challenge the final league cha final round of the final league challenge of the year here so much fun we're debating on a flower selecting and that actually will be activated here to look at the top two cards of the deck keep one send the other to the lost zone you guys know the drill A second Articuno is put into the Lost Zone there. Cloth player confirms that. The other card must have been very handy. It looks like that's going to instantly be played. Thinking about that Clara. Clara being played here. That lets you put up to two Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand and up to two energy from your discard pile into your hand. Cramorant, Radiant, Charizard, and Fire Energy being put into the hand and immediately put onto the field. Switch, switching into that Radiant Charizard. And yeah, it's it's Radiant Charizard's online. Uh, Radiant Charizard has the Excited Heart ability. This Pokemon's attack costs a colorless less for each prize card your opponent has taken and it does have the comb Combustion Blast attack for one fire and four colorless, 250 damage. During your next turn, this Pokemon can't use Combustion Blast. Uh, but with its Excited Heart ability online, Combustion Blast now costs one fire energy because the opponent has taken four prize cards. So we are over KOing this opposing Fire Weak Hisuian Electrode V for two prizes at that. Let's see what else our Lost Zone player needs to do this turn. Nope. Uh, activating Town Store, I think. Search in the deck for a tool card. That's the thing about these uh, stadiums that your opponents can use as well. It could benefit them. Equal or more than you. You want it to benefit them equal or less than you. I mean, you can't stunt your own setup to deny your opponent the store, but either way, Bravery Charm being found here off of the town store. Most likely going on to the active Radiant Charizard, giving it 210 HP and taking the KO 500 damage on that opposing Fire Week is suing Electrode V. His suing Electrode V moves into the active spot. His suing Radiant Sneasler coming into play with its Poison Peak ability 
during Pokemon Checkup, put two more damage counters on your opponent's poison Pokemon. Spicy Season Curry being played there uh, to burn the active Hisuian Electrode V. So it's got burn on it now, and it's going to have poison as well, thanks to the Brute Bonnet. That's two status conditions, so 100 times two, 200 damage on the opposing Radiant Charizard. More than enough to take the, oh no, just enough to take the KO, okay. Because it had 210, right? Yeah. And then um, it had 210 thanks to the Bravery Charm. And then Brute Bonnet poisons both active Pokemon. So the Suing Electrode V does 200 damage to the Radiant Charizard, and then the Radiant Charizard takes actually three damage counters in between turn thanks to the Radiant Hisuian Sneasler's Poison Peak ability. So more than enough to KO the opposing Charizard. The burn flip was heads, I think, or it looks like it's tails, I'm not sure. If it's heads, the Pokemon's not poisoned anymore. If it's tails, or sorry, it's not burned anymore. And if it's tails, it stays burned. And our lost zone player is debating on which Pokemon to put up here in this end game. These are going to be the last one or two turns of the game. With one prize card to be taken by both players. Comfy comes into the active spot. So we need a gust. Let's see. So the active is soon Electrode V has three damage counters on it. So it has 180 left. It'll have 170 after Pokemon Checkup. So can we do 170, da 170 damage to the active, or can we gust? Actually, yeah, we can gust a cloth from the bench since Cramorant could do 120 damage thanks to the Articuno's Ice Symbol ability, but lots of theory here. Let's just see the practice. Town Store being activated here by our Lost Zone player to search their deck for a tool card, of course. Consulting their hand to see what's there so they can make what they think is the optimal, optimal play. Boss's orders in the cloth player's hand currently. Love to see that card, or have that card in your hand at the end of the game. Either way. And t Technical Machine Blindside being found there. A hundred damage to each of your Pokemon, each of your opponent's Pokemon that have damage, or one of them, something like that. If it becomes relevant, I'll uh, clarify. But I think mostly just thinning that card out of, the, out of the deck here with the Town Store. We need Gust, Switch card to win the game. Flower selecting, looking for something like that. Boss's orders, switch card, finishes the game for our Lost Zone player. If not, it seems Cloth has game on board and in hand. Artizone sent to the Lost Zone, the other card kept. Pre-release promo Comfe hitting the bench there. I think that's the best art. No, actually, the full art one's pretty cool. Man, I don't know which one I like better. Probably the full art. Let me know which... Uh, Comfe art you think is optimal in the comments here. Irida being played. Okay, that's not a boss's orders. Search in the deck for an item card and a water Pokemon. Countercatcher is not online since both players are at one prize card each. So maybe at this point our uh, Lost Zone player is just hoping the Cloth player does not have game in hand. 
I wish I knew if that electrode was, was burned right now or not. I'm going to assume it's not, since our um, Lost Zone player is not conceded, and they found a Cramorant and a switch off of that Irida. Cramorant hits the bench, joining the party here. Switch into that Cramorant, and it's just swinging for as much damage as they can, spitting disrespectfully onto that opposing Hisuian Electrode V. And if Cloth's got it, they got it. Grant was the top deck there. Hisuian Heavy Ball being played. Just to take a look at the prize cards, failing it. Grant being played. That gives your fighting Pokemon plus 30 damage to their attacks for the turn. And uh, KO. Yep, KO on the opposing Cramera is the game, actually, because, yep, the Brute Bonnet poisons both actives. Hisuian Electrode V at least has one status condition, so it's going to um, effectively do 110 damage to the 110 hit point Cramorant for the last prize of the game. Very good game we saw there. And congratulations to our December 2023 League Challenge champ. That was our Maridon player that you saw in uh, round one. I believe. And as always, thank you all for playing some Pokemon. What a way to end the year. What do you guys think of this video and the commentary? Please let me know in the comments. Like this video, subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time in the Professor's Lab.